Today we have a 2019 Santa Fe in the limited trim with the 2.0 turbo option. This comes out to a price tag of just over 35,000. It's in this white quartz color. Let me show you around it. A special thanks to Kevin and Eddie at College Park Hyundai for letting us review this Santa Fe. Their contact information will be in the description. If you're looking for a Hyundai in the MD area, check them out. Now back to the video. All right, so starting at the front of this Santa Fe, you have this nice Hyundai grill. I like what Hyundai's doing with their grills now. It's, it's bold, it, it looks good. I, it's got this cool, almost hex pattern with the line through it. Moving on, the limited trim does have LED headlights and LED fog lights. And something you'll notice on the Santa Fe, safety is number one. They do it better than most car companies. This, I'll, I'll talk about it all throughout the video. One of the safety features is this black block here is used for automated braking, pedestrian interdiction, adaptive cruise control. You see a camera right there on top of the window, that's for lane keep assist. And there's so many other features when we'll show you. Before I move along to the side of the Santa Fe, I just like to say why my partner Jake isn't here. He's going down to Texas with his grandpa for the Tetris Championship. Good luck, Jake. I wish you the best. Now, something you don't expect to see on a Santa Fe is functional side vents. You think they'd be fake even if they add them, but they don't. You have this black plastic trim that kind of wraps around the whole vehicle. It's nice. You have these optional 18 inch wheels. They look sharp on this white color. Moving along to this mirror, you have this black trim that kind of comes all the way around and it even wraps the side. It's a sharp look. Now something that surprised me was this aluminum uh, trim that like you think would follow all the way along, but instead it kind of splits in two and it gives it more of a rustic look. I actually really like that. Another thing, these door handles, it's like half silver on top, half the color of the door. Coming to the back of the Santa Fe, this black plastic trim that started in the bumper wraps all the way around the car through the back. You do have these sick tail lights. I don't know why they, I like them so much, but I do. They have this cool like spider web design on the outside with this glimmery shiny part in the middle. They wrap around cool. They have nice angles, this like sick curve right here looks great. You do have blind spot monitoring sensors integrated in the side of this car. That's another safety feature Hyundai does. Now, right under this black plastic trim that I just mentioned, there's this hexagonal trim. It's just kind of thrown in there, but I like it because it actually matches the front grille design that I mentioned earlier. But then there's this gray trim that just doesn't fit. It just doesn't match. It, sh it should just be the white color. I don't know why they did that. Another interesting point is this large exhaust pipe. It's, it's pretty massive. It's only on one side of the car. And instead of the exhaust pipes we'd like to see in 2019, it's, it's integrated. So it slopes in. We'll show you a close up. But normally in 2019, you'll see the pipe and then a larger pipe around it. But Hyundai actually went to the efforts of integrating it. And I like that. One last cool quirk of all Santa Fe's is that right next to the logo, they have the sun. So in a lot of cars these days, you'll find where you can walk up to the back of the car, put your foot under the back bumper and the tailgate will rise up. Hyundai has a convenience feature that you can set in your infotainment. You put your key, you have your key in your pocket. You walk up to the back of the car. It'll notice it'll flash the lights twice and the tailgate will rise up. You have to stay behind it. Sorry, Colin. In the Santa Fe's engine department, you'll find a 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, making about 235 horsepower. But you don't buy this car for the performance, although it is decent. You buy this car for the convenience and the safety. Some interesting things to note about this engine cover is it has this cool carbon fiber design on it, and it is gas direct injection. Another thing you'll notice is this molding is like very shiny, it's pretty, it's something you think you'd see on a performance car because who's actually lifting up the hood on their Santa Fe? I don't know, but that's awesome attention to detail. Another thing to note is that Hyundai's been killing it in a lot of things recently, but one thing they won't be killing is you. Hyundai makes all of their steel, reinforced steel, especially made for the cars. Now that we're in the interior of the Santa Fe, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Not everything is even luxury. It just all makes sense and it's nice. You have, of course, soft touch on this armrest. You have special touches like these, this ash um, wood trim that just wraps around. You have this bronze threading. It's nice. Yeah, you have some like kind of hard touch up here and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Just looking at this cabin as a whole, it just makes sense and it's nice. Now, as I mentioned before, the materials in this car, 
There's nothing fancy. One thing though, these seats are very comfortable. It's this soft leather, I really like that. My second favorite thing in this interior are these turn knobs. They have this silver grip material on them. It makes it great. You can turn them. I hate when there's like a flimsy knob and you don't really know how much you're turning. But just taking a step back and admiring this cabin, everything just makes sense. You have a lot of just buttons, you know? You have heated front seats, button. Your ventilation, it's, it's the turn knob or it's the button. The vents, they're easy to use. It's just the flume thing. It's no one of those weird turny things that we kind of saw in the Camaro, although that is cool. Cup holders, two in the middle, one on each side. Very nice. One thing to notice is this, these speaker covers. They have like a like this lumpy design on them. It's really cool. And we did test the sound system. It does bang. It's some surround sound, clarify technology. You can position where you want the sound to go in the cabin. You can customize bass. You can customize everything. It's really cool. Now, this car does have three drive settings. Comfort, sport, and smart. It's very interesting when you put it in the sport. The dash gets all red and scary because you're about to drive sporty. Another thing interesting to note is this little shifter here shifts the middle part, but this shifter on the right shifts the one in front of you. You think the one on the left would be in front of you and the one on the right would be on the right of you, but no, kind of strange. You do have a sharp looking um, dashboard. On the left, you'll have an analog RPM meter. Very strange to see. Normally they're all digital nowadays, so it is nice and refreshing to see an analog but it's a sharp, it'll show you your miles per hour in the middle. You can have drive info, you can customize it all you want. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I do like Hyundai system. It's easy to use, it's intuitive, and I really like it. One last thing, I like that you have a sunglass holder, and I like how deep this compartment in the front is. Normally it's so shallow and you can't put anything. You'll put your phone in, it'll slide out when you drive or take a turn, but no, you have a nice deep compartment here. 12 volt output, USB, aux, and then you have a nice deep glove back. I really like it. That sunroof long. This is panoramic. The back of the Santa Fe is also very nice. Of course, you have this the cool ceiling lining that comes all the way back. You still have the same cool speaker covers. Leg room is great. Have an interesting storage compartment here that's very nice. Two USB outlets. And the best thing about the back, peasant blockers. Because I'm a king and I don't want to see any peasants and I don't want no sun hitting my king face. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, these passenger sensors. If you leave your car and say your dog is left in the car, it will alert you via Blue Link. Now the Blue Link system is on the Hyundai. It's a lot of things. Uh, parents can use it to see if their kids are speeding. They can see where the car is going. Uh, they ca it can help with stolen vehicles because it will shut down the car if it's marked stolen on Blue Link. Blue Link's a great feature. It's another safety feature Hyundai has. They're really killing it. And again, they're not killing you. Hey everyone, it's Jake back from the Tetris tournament. Unfortunately, we got lost on our way to the competition and had to forfeit. Well, a huge thanks to College Park Hyundai and Eddie and Kevin. If you're looking for a good mid-size crossover, the Santa Fe clearly is not a bad choice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Subscribing is huge since we are a new channel. Have a wonderful week and see you all in the next video.